I would be lying to you if I said I wasn't a bit annoyed with this performance from the Green Bay Packers. Um, it's going to happen. When you have a young quarterback, um, even though if you played the blame game, which I don't like to play at all, but if you had to do the whole point the finger at who to blame, I'm going play calling. I like Jordan Love is not in the top three people that I look at when I, I look for a reason of why we lost this game. Um hats off to the Falcons. Look, you can't you can't you can't deny two and oh man. The the Falcons and look, after watching them play a game, because I, I really I didn't even care to like really keep up with the Falcons this year. You can't deny 2 and 0 and they look really good. They look really good. Um but I I do think I do think the Packers lost this game. They gave up a, a game that should have been won. Um of course we'll get into it. We about to we about to check out these highlights. Um we'll do we'll commentate throughout the game. But you know it's it's hard, man. You hate losing games like that, games that should have been won, and just stupid stuff happening down the stretch. It 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 it's it's annoying. It's annoying. But let's get into it. Let's watch this. You know, let's watch this. Let's break this down <sighs> and watch this Green Bay Packers loss. <laughs> Brick release, and they go on the first play from scrimmage to Drake London, who led the Falcons in receptions last season. Not for nothing. Second down and one. This is Robinson who picks up a first down. I want Darnell Savage to get his eyes checked. He misses a lot of tackles. On first down. Ritter hit as he got rid of the football. A lot of interceptions. Intercepted by like, Rasul Douglas. He always seems to be around the ball, which means that his IQ and his ability Third to read plays are there. But he goes. He just misses Kaden tackles Ellis. and he misses the interceptions. Like you see it, it, it does get a bit now. annoying. It's a pass rusher. Even though I do like that. They want to make sure everything really stays do. in front of them. Ritter over the middle. That's one hell of a catch. By the tight end, Janu Smith for a Falcons first down. What a throw. The safety's tackles all the time. Yeah, the time. Well, here, 75 yards on the ground last week. Here he is again. No, I run defense. Up it looked it, it look really bad. Three. It looked really Ritter bad. takes off and will pick up a first down. Slides oh. at the 30 yard line. Yeah. No, I don't Keith even Smith know what else to say. But the run defense Off the fake to Robinson, pass caught at the 20 yard line. Second reception. Darnell, he still had nine yards. Like, what are you talking about? On second and one, wide open, it's Robinson. Another Falcons first down. And this is where they get really conservative in the red zone. They like to run first down here. Ritter after the fake to Algier. Great option. Ritter. I mean, this was a really good drive by the Falcons. I was watching this game. I was working at the same time. Um, but this was a, this was a good drive. But I do like that we did not give up this touchdown. I did like that. It was very promising. 24-yard attempt. It was very promising. I, I was really happy about this. He's really cool, calm, collected when he's there. From the 16-yard line, fake to Dillon. Pass over the middle is caught for a first down and taken out to the 32-yard line. Like by Jordan Romeo looks Don. good to me. We won't kick out. I have my ID now, Kenny. Jordan, like, to he Dillon. really and looks good in his first two weeks. There's nothing first that like into Atlanta Falcons territory. raises my antenna about Jordan. Right down at Dobbs. He can He's make the throws. Man -man he can make Love. the decisions. 
Love on third down. Pocket presence. Rolling to his right now. Takes off. Like, and will pick up a first down. I, and I am impressed by Jordan Love. Finally brought it's down small inside stuff. Very small the 20 stuff. yard line. Ryan that Nielsen, I want him to tighten up, but it's Falcons, nothing, backfield, second down, nothing that gives me reason to work. Musgrave. I do down think he's the guy. Down the 11-yard line of the Falcons for a gain of eight. This is a really good drive. First to go from the nine this on the toss. Drive. This is Reed. Turns the that was a good drive. Takes it to the end zone for a Packers touchdown. I love how spread out the offense is. Like, there's really nobody in particular 15. like Falcons when you had Devontae. The line. You really have to hone in on it. Everybody touches the ball. Everybody. Falcons pick up a first Dylan, down. Dylan Jones, the Reed, Musgrave, uh, Dobbs. Like, everybody down touches the ball. Falcons on the toss. It's Robinson. Ooh. Couple of nice moves. This was in Like I said, going. our run defense was it's bad. Green Bay Packers territory. It was bad. Falcons need four yards. And it is oh, past Now, let me say something about that. You will never hear me say anything bad about Jair Alexander. I think he's the best DB in the league. I do. I will take Jair Alexander over anybody. And we all know the famous quote, if DBs could catch, they would be receivers. It's plays like that, though, that change the whole dynamic. Like, when you get pick sixes, it demoralizes a quarterback. Like, I really don't think people understand. It's a reason why those DBs be that pissed. I mean, other than the fact that they want interceptions, but it's a reason why DBs and sidelines be pissed when DBs drop interceptions. It changes the complexion of the game entirely. It does something to the quarterback psyche. It does something to the coaches calling plays. It changes the environment of everything. And when you have one drop in your hands like this, especially somebody like Jair Alexander. That really pissed me off. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Football is really decided by very few plays. And that is one of those plays that I throw. I will throw in the bucket as a crucial, even though they, they got the stop and everything. This game, I believe, looks completely different. If Jaya catches this ball and takes it to the house, it's a completely different game. Good off by Jair and Jair was pissed. Love with Even the when they came back from the commercial side, break, he was still yards, up the middle, like, he knew for a first down, take it to the that pick would have changed the play selection. a lot. 50-50 right down the middle. Second down and three. Now it's 12-11. Once again, Jordan Love, <laughs> he looked great. Out of first down. He made the third throw. Third down and six. Play clock at two. Love on third down. Throws to the end that zone. That was a hell of a throw. Incomplete. Looking for Wicks. Hell of a Terrell throw. Defending. Dropped it right in the Terrell bucket. worked out with Jordan Love after the draft back in 2020. Came out the same year. Should have been caught. 33-yard attempt. Carlson knocks it through. Second down and five. Falcons deferred at the start of the game. They will get the ball first in the second half. Looking to put together a scoring drive here. It's Robinson. First right, that down. one defense is bad. Man. Rashad out to the 39 it, it, it yard was really line. Bad. Stop it, Brent. I mean, look at it. There's Robinson. Look at it. Another Atlanta first down. Young running backs, they like to bounce a lot. It's because they don't know how to set up their blocks yet. He does it naturally. Ritter on a slant. Catch is made now, by Mac Hollins. That's another thing. I don't know why we play back so much. Robinson I don't know why we can't ball. be a little bit more aggressive on defense. So this time the Falcons can That whole playing it safe shit, I hate it. This is where they use Bajan a lot. He goes in motion. Like At some point. screens out to him if they can. Ritter the fake to press. Algier. Throws. It is caught. Hell of a throw. But once again. It's Smith. I think Darnell read that and just, I don't know. First to go, low snap. 
Ritter holding to his left, throws. There it is. End zone. Touchdown, Drake London. That was a hell of a play. Patience. London coming back to the quarterback. There's Koo. Extra point um, attempt is. Sayer no played good, good defense. It was just put left. right where it needed to be. I, I, I can't get mad at him. Love to the outside. And uh, the catch throw. is made by catch. Samari Toure. His first of the game. Second down and nine. Musgrave in motion. Fake to Dillon. Love throws. Wide open along the near sideline is Dobbs who makes the catch for a Green Bay Packers first down. Looks good, man. First and 10 from the Atlanta good. 32. Off the play fake. Love fires good protection. over the middle, And it's caught for a first down and a touchdown by Don It looked Wicks. good, man. It did look good. 32 yards. It looked good the all the way Virginia to the fourth quarter. First NFL TD. So now Ritter and the Falcons go back to work from their 25-yard line. The handoff, Robinson. Wow. And Bajon. Ten run defense. Able to pick up a first down. He's <laughs> embarrassing, He's going to bounce man. out. It makes me bounce. And he goes it, right it, back to really where I as a linebacker. That's what makes it so tough. Second down and five. Play fake. Pass caught. And take it into Packers territory for a first down. By that was a great play call. Was a great From play. the 44, on first down, it's Algier with a big burst. That's embarrassing. From the Green Bay, 22. I mean, just look at it. Here's Robinson. Uh -oh. Look at it. And Robinson takes it all the Every way down. Every Atlanta Falcons play. To the 11-yard line for the Falcons first they down. They ran our Drake life Drake London away. versus Jair Alexander. Ritter wrapped up. No chance. Down he goes. I was, I was happy to see a Preston Smith side. Preston Smith, the first to make contact. Um, Robert Kuhn missed an extra point you know, earlier. Preston That's has a really disappointed me the past the couple hash. years, but... It is good. On first down, Love pulls it in. And now airing it out. There is a flag. I was about to say, I don't even remember that play, but that was definitely in The toss... On second and short, it's Ooh. Dillon, and A.J. Dillon will pick up a You'll Packers never hear me first say anything bad about A.J. Dillon. Love the Falcons. I mean, between the two, I'm definitely an Aaron Jones guy. I definitely Love think on he's first down one to of the, the best running backs Reed. in the league. But you never hear Play me say anything bad down, about A.J. Dillon. Passes caught and taken into the end zone by Jaden Reed, his second touchdown today. Yeah, Jaden is him. I really like Jaden Reed. Six seconds remaining in the corner. On first down, handoff Robinson. Yeah, let's Robert just get to the fourth quarter. Let's get to, to the, the bullshit. Three yard line. This is where it starts. We told Arthur Smith we had already spoken to Matt Lafleur. The and they're probably not even going to show a lot of this stuff that happened. But. Some trickery got from him. Arthur Smith. Ritter going deep for Hollins. Like. That's an interception. Now, you get mossed, you get mossed. Can't, you know. But the fact that you read it, you read it. Like Darnell, like he was there. All you got to do is make the play. He literally, he, he's there. He's got him. Look at Smith. this. Ritter going deep for Holland. He's got it. Uh, but again, if you get Moss, you get Moss. You can hear the Packers fans in the crowd here at Mercedes Benz. Mm, it. On fourth down, it is Ritter. And Desmond Ritter is in for a Falcons touchdown. We're down at nine. Love to the outside, Ooh. broken up, Ooh. nearly picked off. I don't remember seeing Terrell. that, but that definitely should have been a pick. Robinson in the backfield. Robinson makes the catch. First down and more. This one hell of a lead. Finally knocked out of bounds of by play. Rudy Ford. Third down and seven. On oh, the slant. Nice oh. adjustment. Ball came loose. Yeah, it looked like he never play. possessed it. 
Oh, did he drop it? So it's rolled an incompletion. I don't remember I like seeing this part. I, I, I guess I was working. You get this. Now you're and then I started two. to watch again towards the, the end of the next time, uh, fourth quarter. You only quarter. need a field goal. A Kick is good. Love handing it off. Dylan. Needed to get to the third. Why go low? That's one Ray of them plays where I would have loved for AJ to stay on his feet and use some of that muscle like he usually does. By Alexander. He did that twice. At midfield. AJ Dillon. 23 yard connection. Kind of just diving for the first down instead of like keeping Third his feet three. moving. There it is. Ritter, Robinson. First down Atlanta. There's Ritter after the fake to Algier. Oh, yeah, I Ritter. think he got it. Leaning forward. It's a hell of a play. Hell it of will a depend effort. on the spot. He came to the line very quickly. Nope. They run the play. <laughs> and pick up the first down. Robinson. Gutsy like, once again, he got Smith. blocked there. And it pays off. But Darnell, like, he sees everything. He just doesn't Going make the play. Six. Ritter hands it off. Robinson. But he, he he was there. I think he got it. And again, he got Robinson. he got blocked, so I shouldn't complain. But close to a first down. And Darnell literally reads this these for plays, the lead. but he doesn't make the play. Who's kicked from 25 yards out? Gives it later. A one point advantage. There's love pressure from Dupree once again. Fires downfield, incomplete. Sailed over the head of Romeo Dobbs. Yeah, they, they didn't Comes show a lot of stuff. For Green Bay, they must pick up a first yeah. down. Love on fourth and ten. And a diving catch is made to Yo, keep this I game alive. I thought he I almost had a panic attack. 13-yard pickup. But a oh, penalty flag. And a penalty flag. This is a booth review in the final two minutes. <sighs> You talk about a gut check. You, you just hate to lose games Arthur like Smith. this. Man. After review, the receiver did not maintain possession of the pass while going to the ground. Therefore, it's an incomplete pass. And that is clearly incomplete. But going back to a gut check for the Falcons at home, down two scores, and you see Jordan Love being consoled by Matt LaFleur. Arthur Smith, great job. Atlanta Falcons, great job today. Again, man, look, if I told you heading into this season that Jordan Love in the first two weeks would have six in his, uh, six in his, six touchdowns and no interceptions, would you believe me? If anybody bet that in fantasy, they I'm sure they a rich man right now because I'm sure nobody on the planet thought that would have been the case. Jordan Reed, as of today, has six touchdowns to no interceptions. That's impressive. Completion rate uh, ratings, not, not great, not, not good. But if you watch the game, then, you know, you say, okay, you understand why. But... It was, it was a lot of play-calling decisions towards the end of that game. And again, kudos to the Falcons. They deserved it. They really, really did. Um, because when it came down to it, they made the plays. And they stuck with what worked. They saw we couldn't stop a blindfolded Stevie Wonder from running. They knew the run game was there all day, and that's what they did. So kudos to the Falcons for sticking with what worked, and then once we got towards the end of the game, made made crucial plays. That's it. They just knew we got to hang in there, not let this get too far you know, away from us, and we'll close it in the end. Meanwhile, with the Packers, you get these leads, and then your play calling becomes questionable. 
it's like I don't know and, and it's something that's always kind of happened we've always kind of done it where we feel like a two possession game is like Enough to relax, even when it's in the third and fourth quarter. I don't know who started that. That needs to stop. You don't take away the aggression in your play calling just because you're up two scores and you're in the second half. Like, if you're only up... Let's say you're only up two. As we saw this weekend, there were like three or four comeback wins this past weekend. Two, three, or four, something like that. Um, If you're only up two touchdowns heading into the fourth, you still have to play aggressive. Again, on the, on the field and play calling. Like, that's not the time to say, okay, let's, let's back up 10 yards on third and twos because we don't want to give up the big play. You think these teams worried about touchdowns on third and twos with 14 to 13 minutes left on the clock? No. Stop them from getting third downs. Stop! Just stop these drives. You give the like, I, like I said, I don't blame Jordan Love at all, honestly, for this loss. Again, a couple of mistakes. Young quarterback, I could live with that. I can't live with soft play calling. I can't do it. I can't do it. That's what I can't live with. And I blame I put more of the blame on that than Jordan Love. For the players, everybody came to play. Everybody came to play. Um, you know, Jair really hurt my feelings with that drop pick. Darnell Savage, I mean, he's literally the epitome of almost. Anytime you bring up Darnell Savage, it's like almost. Almost. He almost made a play. I wish we could get back to that 2020 Darnell where he was getting picks and everything. But, you know, I really like Darnell Savage. But he, he got to make the play. If you see the run, like the way his pursuit, the way his ability to get from point A to point B, he is so fast. But that speed don't mean nothing if you can't make the play. It doesn't mean anything. You got to make the play. And again, that's tackles and interceptions or deflections. I don't even care if you don't even catch them no more. Just deflect it. But again, everybody came to play. Um, And the Packers, look, the Packers did this without Aaron Jones, Christian Watson, David Bakhtiari, Elton Jenkins got hurt, I want to say in the second quarter. Might have been the first, second, first or second quarter. I got to double check. But Elton Jenkins, David Bakhtiari, Christian Watson, Aaron Jones. Who else I'm missing? Like, like literally the stars, the stars are of our offense were not there. And they're still, you know, they got to win and had a game they should have won. So, I'll take it. It's going to happen with a young quarterback. I will take it. But, you got to tighten up the screws, man. Got to. Um, as for the Falcons, man, look. Do I think they're a legitimate threat? No. But, you can't deny 2-0. Can't. And they, they make plays. Um... You you gotta you gotta respect it. You gotta put some respect on the Falcons' name. You really do. Again, we only two weeks in. A lot um could happen and will happen. But I'm sure both of these teams, the Packers and the Falcons, they like the positions that they're at. Um again, even though the Packers lost, you love what you saw from love. 
And you know this was a game that you let go. But it wasn't anything where you got embarrassed or, you know. A game you should have won. And it's going to hurt. But you can clean it up next week. I think versus the Saints is who we play. Um, You know, just clean it up. Just clean, just clean up. That's the that's really what you gotta say. And you saw it in, in week one versus the Bears. Like that, that that week one wasn't even though you see the final score and you think, damn, like wow, like they look incredible. It was it was some mess in, in there. Like even with the wins, you gotta clean up. Don't get complacent. Don't get big headed. New quarterback, new era. Let's go. Let's clean it up. Let's clean it up. But I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm frustrated, annoyed, but I'm not mad. Um, but again, anyway, I know this was more about the Packers than the Falcons. Shout out to the Falcons, man. They definitely deserve this game. And like I said, do I think they're a legitimate NFC uh, threat? No, but um, they, they're a tough team. And they, they fight, bite, claw. They do whatever they got to do for the win. And they've done it for the second week in a row. So... Shout out to the Falcons, man. They hell of a team, hell of a team. I love Drake London. Um, they they got they got players over there. They really really do. So keep your eye on them. Keep your eye on them for sure. Um, like I said, I don't think they're a legitimate threat, but you you can't you can't deny two and zero. Oh. So anyway, y'all let me know how y'all felt about this game. Let me know how you felt about both teams. Um, let me know uh, what team. What other teams I should react to. Um, You know, let me know if you want me to check out your team. And, um, yeah, just let me know how you feel about the first two two weeks of the season and how things are shaping up for you and your expectations so far. Very interested to know that. But as always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, peace.